Hey guys, what's up? I'm Pallak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational and motivational videos focusing mainly on studying in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So today we have with us Mr. Jinal Patel, who completed his uh, Masters in Biomedical Engineering from Martin Luther University of Halle-Wittenberg. So uh, I would request Jinal to introduce himself. Hello friends, myself Jinal Patel and I am from Gujarat, India. In India, I have completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and in Germany, I am here for my master's program. I am in Germany since uh, 2016 and I, am, I have completed my master's in biomedical engineering from Martin Luther University, Halle. Okay, uh, so being a mechanical engineer, why did you choose biomedical engineering? Actually, there are not so many English program in mechanical or automobile engineering. Mm -hmm. So, and I wanted to pursue my master's in English program. So, okay. because in German, it's not, it's not doesn't make sense okay. to do master's in German because I want to work worldwide. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I have chosen biomedical engineering because nowadays you have seen so many medical problems, medical devices we need. So this program will deal with medical devices. Mm -hmm. So this medical engineering, it's like evergreen line. Okay. So that's why I would choose biomedical engineering. Okay. And uh, what kind of bachelors are eligible to apply for this program? For this program, actually mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, mm -hmm. this is the combination of mechanical and electrical engineering, okay. this biomedical okay. engineering program. So mechatronics, there are so many uh, in my classmates from pharmacy background, from biotechnology, from biomedical also, um, and computer science also, mm -hmm. and mainly but electrical and mechanical engineering. Okay. And are there any other universities in Germany uh, for biomedical engineering or Martin Luther University is the only one? No, there are few universities I know I have applied also in SN Duisburg mm -hmm. and Lübeck University. Okay. These are the best university I have heard for, okay. for now. And uh, what are the deadlines for your course like for winter semester and for summer semester? For winter semester the deadline is from uh, July to March. Okay. And for summer semester from September to January. Okay. From 15, 15 of July to March and from 15 of uh, September to mm -hmm. January. Okay. And uh, did you apply directly to the university or via UniAssist? No, actually for foreign students, we have to apply with the help of UniAssist. Okay. For German students, for German uh, citizens, mm -hmm. they can apply directly university portal. Okay, they can apply directly. Yeah, but okay. for, as a foreign student, we have to apply with the help of uh, UniAssist. Okay, and if someone wants to apply, then what are the required documents? Uh, there are a list of required documents available in website you can check but uh, mainly your uh, degree certificate your bachelor degree certificate mm -hmm. your grade mm -hmm. grade different uh, semesters grade certificate yeah. then uh, uh, your CV in mm -hmm. European format okay your motivation letter and your passport with all all the documents you need with uh, certified attested so, so from in German or in English from embassy from, uh, not from embassy, uh, you can do with the lawyer like uh, okay. true copy type. Okay. okay. No need of from embassy. Okay. And uh, did you give any GRE or IELTS or TOEFL any exam? Uh, for this course, actually, the requirement is only TOEFL and IELTS. So mm -hmm. I have only give uh, IELTS. Okay. And uh, do you know how does the selection process occur in the background for this course? Yeah. I uh, actually they have con they, they consider first uh, your academic okay. your academic grade should be as a german grade system minimum 3.0 less than 3.0 less than 3.0 then you will consider for the interview mm -hmm. uh, maybe sometime aptitude interview okay and uh, and actually they the, the requirement for at least minimum one year internship or uh, you have experience in industry or something okay so there are different criteria okay and uh, interview is done via Skype or a person has to come to Germany for giving aptitude interview? Actually or? online, online aptitude test. Online aptitude yeah, test. Online so aptitude test. it can be done online. Yeah, and yeah. also is there any Skype face-to-face -face interview or that there is anything? I have no idea. Uh, in re really rare case they'll do a uh, okay. personal interview. What is the course structured semester-wise? What are the subjects of the course? Uh, 
actually when i was in this course it was a joint course between hokshul anand and martin luther university okay. but now they they are they, are, they have started their own course in hokshul anand mm-hmm. so my course was for third semester first semester is in hokshul anand is mainly on engineering background okay so there are uh, courses related to virtual reality mm-hmm. uh, telemedicine in medicine then biomedical engineering biomedical instrumentation mainly about electronics and uh, engineering related okay in second semester in martin luther university the the course is about biology so human analogy physiology human anatomy then anesthesia then all 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 related to human body mm-hmm. but now they have started um, separate course in hokshul anand it was like four semester two years and they have the same structure but no corporation with martin luther university okay. and in detail they have uh, on on the website all the uh, what specialization you can do during this entire course uh it depends uh from which background you come from okay so i am from mechanical background so i am interested in design and manufacturing of medical device so i, I have done my master thesis also in this specialization mm-hmm. design and uh, manufacturing of medical devices so for me i am in design and manufacturing if you come from biotechnology or uh, biomedical background so mm-hmm. you can go for uh, for cell culture or maybe related to some biology stuff so what sort of future do you see as a post graduate in biomedical engineering now that actually the the wide future in biomedical engineering because you have seen so many diseases are coming so they they needs biomedical instrument biomedical devices there are every day new innovation in yeah. biomedical technology so this biomedical engineering means they are helping as a technician to physicist and to biologist both okay so there will be uh, there are a lot of a lot of scope of future okay, okay. coming to the financial situation mm-hmm. so uh, how did you manage your finances during the entire course like for four semesters first you need block account so for that my parents finance me for for okay. the first year mm-hmm. and then after i came here out i have started job part time job you can do okay. and later you can Uh, manage everything but first time of course from parents or you can uh, take a loan from bank there will, there are so many banks as a student loan and after you coming here there are in some university or and i think most university before yeah so, uh, so scholarship scholarship type you can apply for that also okay what challenges uh, did you face as a foreign student in in germany like in terms of uh, german culture or in terms of language or any other thing that you faced here which you would like to share with the uh, viewers mainly the language problem uh, it's not impossible but it's difficult without language so i i recommend to at least uh, learn from india like a1 or a2 basic language okay so whatever actually whatever you learn in india it's not or it's not uh, su- sufficient to mm-hmm. survive here after you come here you have to start uh, further levels so yeah uh, when i was new then mainly language problem and uh, german people are actually really cool so they are helpful uh, actually f- uh, from till now i have i have not faced any any serious problem okay. be, with uh, with the german uh, citizens or, or german peoples so actually they are uh, really helpful and uh, they are also like mo- they, they motivate us to do lot of things mm-hmm. and and beside language problem there are food problems so i am i am vegetarian so you have to cook it's not really easy to get so many indian yes. indian grocery, grocery and indian yeah. food to available it it is not, not impossible it's not easy also yeah. so maybe you can ask uh, courier from your from yeah. from your parents, parents or yeah. maybe or or you have to leave what you have here okay yeah okay. and uh, how were you able to find accommodation because as far as i know from starting you are living in student and work yeah. so uh, the current scenario in germany is so competitive that it is almost next to impossible to find an accommodation in student and work yeah so uh, how were you able to find the accommodation actually i have applied already when i was in india after i got admission but my course is in hokshul anand and martin luther university i already yeah. told so in hokshul anand is a it's not that big city yeah. it's a small town 
so there i think it, it was not that difficult to apply or to get in student online mm -hmm. so i i already got in hokshuranat and from there it was automatically because it's a um, joint course joint. so it was automatically we have transferred from hokshuranat to hala in in they are all the okay. same uh, branch of accommodation okay. so okay. that's why from the first i got so it was yeah, easy for I, you yeah easy for me uh, what privileges did you have as a, a foreign student in germany compared to your home country actually there are a huge difference between student life in germany and student life in india in in germany like you will be independent in india it's not possible in india there is no part time job concept yeah exactly so it's it that, that's the main thing so here you will be independent you live alone yeah. you manage all your household things your cooking things your uh, personal things your appointments your bank banking things everything yeah. so you do you become you learn, multi talented yeah, here yeah. <laughs> and you you learn a lot of things okay. that's what i did i have learned a lot of things after i came here so okay. in india you will be depend on your parents or on you have your home you don't need to pay your rent mm -hmm. you don't need to pay uh, health, health insurance mm -hmm. so many things but here you have to do man you have to manage all by your things okay. like by self so okay. you will be independent okay and uh, so at present you are on a job search visa so uh, what means you are utilizing for finding a job what websites you are using or are you consulting any any uh, job providing agencies mm -hmm. so, so actually in germany i have i have heard like uh, job searching website zing so so many people using zing mm -hmm. and but i am i am referring zing also linkedin stepstones and indeed indeed so this these are the main yeah these okay. are the main websites and uh, talking about linkedin did you choose linkedin premium or you are using the simple linkedin because i have heard that using linkedin premium helps many people get a job yeah. uh, faster than the yeah. usual yeah i am using linkedin premium actually i got one student one year premium free mm -hmm. from somewhere i don't know so actually, yeah so if you have a linkedin premium and zing premium also then it will be benefit more, more benefit. it will be beneficial yeah, benefit. okay yeah so uh, jinal recently visited uh, the biggest uh, medica fair which was uh, held in germany so i would request jinal to describe his experience regarding this medica uh, fair yeah so actually medica fair it's it's not for a job it's an expo sure. so it's for business purpose but actually it it is really helpful for me so you you will get lot of contacts you will get list of companies mm -hmm. in which product you are interested so that's why i went to medica to search uh, like i am interested in uh, manufacturing of medical devices that's okay. what i have uh, that's what i have done in my masters master thesis i have manufactured medical implants mm -hmm. so in which company are manufacturing these implants so i, I have got lot of contacts from this medica fair okay. so it, uh, there will be a lot of events also about uh, medical device regulations so i have appeared um, means i have attend one 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 event also medical device regulation so from that i have learned so many things if you have your own device uh, how you will register in europe as a patent mm -hmm. or uh, there are so many de deadlines to register for as a for your patent uh, your medical device uh, how how it will works how you can launch so the, I, i have learned so many things from this event and this is like this is actually not not exactly i can say useful to job search but it is useful to make contacts okay. so it's main, mainly as a like you are starting mm -hmm. if you are businessman then it's really useful mm -hmm. because uh, it it's business expo it's okay. for uh, ex, it's expo but if you are a student or you are looking for a job then it's just for make a contact and you will get a list of companies so you can apply directly contact to that companies okay 